Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Vampire on a Master System. This is level 2 um, and full disclosure I did forget to save at the end of the last episode so I quickly redid my progress and that's why I've got two extra lives. Ah. I've got my trusty axe which I'm going to try and keep hold of for as long as I can. Uh, I've since looked up the manual for this game and um, the axe is the strongest weapon but obviously has the shortest range so uh, we'll see if we can get on with it. So we jump over these crazy women that jump out and come to life. It seems to be the only one, only the ones in the white dresses that do it so it was slow and cautious this level shouldn't kick my ass quite as much. I don't feel like an expert at this game, but it certainly does help to practice a little bit and uh, you know, learn the ropes on level one as we enter the spooky house of wax figures. And knock off Mona Lisa's. So that rapier is pretty good distance, but I'll keep the axe because like I say, it's very strong and pretty good at bats. And actually, that seemed like it had quite a big range there, longer range than the sprite did. Jump out of the sky and hit that guy in the face with an axe. This vampire game would be so much easier without all the bats in it. Okay. Oh, that's a terrifying room. Okay, yeah, that's a good place to stand, I think. There's no no choice but to fall down. Non stop. <laughs> that siren's really distracting. I don't know if you've ever tried to get dried wax off something, but it's going to take a while to clean those axes and boomerangs and whatnot. Okay, well, let's see what happens down here. that face. Oh, there's some bats. Spotted them this time. My bat sense is getting slightly better. Now, I'm going to take a punt that there's something below that gap. So if I jump out and get that face. Yes! Hey, that was good. Bad. So I'm running a bit low on health. Hoping this house of wax as a gift shop or something I can get some power ups in. There's a bit of a wall here, see what power up we've got. Hey! Good old Castlevania style things hidden in the wall. Get up, so I'm going to 
jump across, I mean. So I can take this guy out with a grenade, yes. Right, wish me luck. Uh, I had no doubts that I could get across that, of course, honest. <laughs> I seem to be better with the stairs today, that's, that's a plus I guess. Now again, with the faces, I have to be mindful. Oh, that's good. Be mindful we don't pick up the wrong weapons again, because I've got pretty much the best weapon in the game, but... I don't know if I get my life back, but I'm hoping I do. Yes, we do. Excellent. Those grenades are just so slow. It's ridiculous. Dr. Social's throwing arms a bit weak. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Instantly dead. Ah, oh, downgrade to the knife. Ah, oh, come on. I'm actually getting killed by the bats now. So I get through the whole first level without dying, and then I can't get through the first screen on the second level without losing all my rest of my lives. short-lived lack of good weapons. What the hell is that? It's a knife flying around. A chair! <laughs> this is a spooky dungeon. any grenades, so I'm going to have to take her out the old-fashioned way. Fencing style. Okay, nice rewards and boomerang there. Uh, yeah, I think I'll stick with the boomerang. Haunted 80s pop star picture. Vengeance for all the times I besmirched the good name of the pen knife, I think. Come on. Well, see you then. Uh oh, sirens again. What the? What a chair? Table? I killed the table. That's a weird boss. Yeah, I think the bombs are actually better now. I'm sure these floating around people. Oh, it's an 
Inanimate object rush. <laughs> Killing two chairs with one hit. Ah! I've got to go to Ikea at some point, and uh, this is really putting me off. It's a stick, isn't it? It's a really bad icon for it. I think the strategy with those knives is just, just leave them alone. Okay, so full health, but no lives left, so fingers crossed. Good friend, the axe. I'm not especially bothered about score, so um, I think just leaving these things alone. Oh, really doesn't want to. Ah, oh. <laughs> I was lucky. I thought I was going to die there. Tops, though. So I've left the house of wax and I'm just on the streets now, am I? Or... Okay, this game's a little bit confusing. It's fairly attractive though, especially for an 8 bit game. I say it was made in 1992, so you know, this is well into the, the era of the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo. I guess they had to make it look fairly good, or just wouldn't have sold at all. Especially those stair animations, they're excellent. social when I'm doing that. Ah, stop doing this. Grenade in his shoe. me to have full health now, so I'm guessing there's uh, some annoying stuff coming up. Yeah, I'm thinking that axe and bombs is probably a good combo for uh, a good weapon loadout. Nope, don't want that knife. He <laughs> blood, young, fresh blood. Uh oh. What the? Okay, so I need to hit the skull. That's its weak point. The giant, deadly skull.
Okay, now what? down to the wire and I guess that's the end of stage two let's see what the skull monster lady has to say the cemetery east of town after defeating the evil spirits the psychic girl managed to gasp a warning before falling into unconsciousness so the next stage is the cemetery eh Jack the Ripper was collecting bodies and fresh blood to be spilt as sacrificial offerings to dark forces. That's some quality artwork there. Cemetery, east of town. There was no way to know what the message was warning you about. <laughs> Could be anything, couldn't it? But Dr. Social had to act quickly, so he rushed there as fast as he could. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will try and remember to save this time, and I will catch you next time. Bye!